Hey everybody, welcome back. Thanks for joining your virtual drinking buddy on the 22nd day of Advent. So tonight, from the Advent calendar, I got O'Shea's Traditional Irish Stout. Let's see, brewed using traditional methods with select hops and barley malt. This traditional Irish Stout offers a rich, dark malt body with espresso coffee and light licorice aromas that lead to a smooth mouthfeel, hoppy bitterness, and a dry finish. Alright, well, let's take a, a sniff here. Hmm, yeah, I guess you can smell the licorice. You can smell the coffee, too. Not a huge fan of licorice, mostly because Jägermeister tastes like licorice, and many years ago, my father-in-law and I decided to split a bottle of of Jägermeister on a fishing trip. The next morning was a little rough. It was a six hour car ride home, so not fun. So a few roadside stops along the way that day. Yeah. Anywho, cheers. You don't really pick up licorice in the taste. You pick up the coffee and uh, a little bit of bitterness, not too bad. And it says it has a dry finish. Better have another drink to make sure. Yeah, I guess it does. I mean, definitely had beers that were more dry, drier. Whatever the appropriate word is, pretend like I said that. But, um,. Overall, it's pretty good. It's not as thick as most stouts. It's probably closer to, I would say, probably a porter in in body. It's a, it, I don't know. It, I guess um, what I'm used to with a stout is like Guinness, which is like nitro infused instead of uh, carbonation, and um, or like a milk stout. Excuse me, how terribly crude. But this is like a standard beer. And it poured really thick, so I thought it was going to have a really thick mouthfeel. But it really didn't. And, yeah. Oh no. It's got a pr it's pretty nice... Um, what am I trying to say? A pretty smooth flavor, I guess is what I'm getting at. It doesn't have... As burn of a taste as some dark beers do. Uh, I'm trying to remember. I feel like St. Pauli Girl Dark had a really like burnt coffee taste. A really strong burnt coffee taste. And th that's not the case here at all. I wouldn't even say that it tastes like espresso. Maybe just like a, a dark blend coffee. And just a little bit of bitterness. Which it's kind of like drinking coffee black. I normally put creamer in my coffee. So... Um, but yeah, it doesn't. It's not as acidic as as plain coffee is. Um, yeah, overall, it's a pretty good beer. Um, I wasn't really sure how I'd feel about it. I don't drink a lot of stouts. Um, occasionally, one might catch my eye, or I'm in the mood for it. But um, they're generally not my type of beer. But I could drink another one of these for sure. It's not. It. It's not as heavy as as others. So. Yeah, I think I could do a few of these. And I haven't looked into it. I don't know what the the alcohol count is. Um, I'm assuming probably somewhere around 5%. Nope. It says right here, actually. 4.5%. So that's not too bad. You could have a few of these. It's probably going to pack on the calories, but you're not going to get totally wasted. <clears throat> Overall, this is a pretty good stout. I, I would probably drink this again. Um, and I think, unless it's really expensive, I don't know how much this costs normally, but unless it was really expensive, um, probably be a pretty decent beer to cook with. Um, I feel like I've made a roast before where I used a, a stout, but like Guinness is just too expensive to to do that. Most, most uh, breweries are too expensive too or have a really high alcohol content and I'm not looking for a lot of alcohol in there and you gotta 
cook it out anyway, especially if, you ha if you're serving to kids. Um, you don't want to give them food that still has booze in it, so... Um, but yeah, I think this... I think I could probably make some pretty good uh, braised beef with this. Oh no, I could be wrong. I probably wreck it. I tried making braised beef before with Yang Jing, and um, not that the food turned out bad, but um, the gravy didn't set up the way I wanted it to. Really doesn't matter. Um, it's a video that will never air. It just, the whole thing just wasn't great. Except for the meal. I mean, eventually when I got done cooking, it was delicious, so. Anywho, enough rambling. Oh, I did want to mention, I noticed uh, when I was checking my beer drop order earlier um, to see what I'm getting. I guess it'd be here at the end of the year, probably. I'll end up getting it sometime next week, but this is the Tuesday where it shows you what your order is and you can make changes to it. But I noticed that it, I, um, it looked like somebody um, used the referral link and ordered some beer drops. So uh, thank you. Thanks for using the link. I don't, there's no way for me to tell who it is. And if you want to remain anonymous, that's cool. But if, if you want to say something in the comments and... I don't know. Maybe we can. Um, maybe I'll see your beer drop orders and some reviews, or maybe you're not doing reviews, but we could still. I don't know. Maybe we can. Maybe I can review the beers that you're drinking. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I just I thought that was pretty cool that somebody used the link. So thank you, um, and I hope you enjoy it. I know it's a little pricey, but um, all the beer that I've had through there is pretty good. With the exception of maybe the the pickle one, it wasn't that it was bad. It was it wasn't what I was expecting. So, um, but yeah, overall that was even a good beer. Um, just when you're expecting cucumber water and you get dill pickle, that's uh, kind of a big shock. Um, but I digress. So again, thanks for whoever ordered that. If you want to stay anonymous, totally cool. If but if you wanted to leave a comment about it, that would be awesome too. All right, well, that's all I got, so thanks for joining me. If you liked what you saw, please hit the like and subscribe button below. And I was wrong in my math in the video last night. Um, I thought there were four beers as of last night, but there were only three because I don't know how to do math. Um, so I got two more now, as I'm sure anybody that's watching probably figured out pretty quickly. Um, there's another O'Shea's. I think it's like a winter ale. And... Um, I'm pretty sure tomorrow's video is going to be White Tide, which is a, a Belgian white, which I kind of feel like that is the Aldi version of Blue Moon. Not that we haven't had a couple of, uh, of Belgian whites in this, but I think this one is intended to be the their version of Blue Moon. I feel like maybe I've even had it before. Um, several years ago, I just got like one of every beer that they had. So... Yeah, um, anyway, enough rambling. Like I said, I'm, I'm actually done. So, um, thanks for joining me. And this is the Malted Gentleman reminding you, you only have one liver, so use it wisely.